11 a.m. and the commander-in-chief of the armed forces was at the Laikipia Air Base. The president was here to join the armed forces to commemorate the second KDF day since Kenya set out on Operation Linda Inchi on 30th September 2011. Your Excellency, Guard of Honor, mounted by Laikipia Air Base, present and ready for your special staff. <laughs> After inspecting the Guard of Honor by the troops, the President and the First Lady Margaret Kenyatta laid a wreath in memory of the fallen soldiers who lost their lives as they defended the nation. The commemoration comes just a few weeks after Westgate terror attack in which over 60 people lost their lives, among them five soldiers who died in the line of duty. We condole with their families and loved ones and humbly appreciate and honor their sacrifice in the preservation of our liberty and nationhood. May they rest in peace. The terror gang left a trail of death and destruction, but according to the army chief, their efforts to bring the country to a standstill will not work as the force will soldier on with the war on terror. The threat today comes from an enemy that aims to squander the peace and cohesion that we have enjoyed all along. According to General Karangi, for Kenya to emerge victorious, security organs must remain united and stop apportioning blame, hence the reason why KDF joined hands with the other security agencies during the Westgate Mall siege. From this threat, cannot be easily done in a disjointed approach or through finger pointing or shrugging off the responsibility or saying this is a duty that belongs somewhere else. We have a collective responsibility for the security of the state and the individual. It is in this spirit, for example, that we joined our brothers and sisters in combating terrorists in the recent Westgate attack. President Kenyatta commended the forces for their bravery, both within and beyond the Kenyan borders, adding that they have continued to show the world what fine peacekeepers they are. But for the purpose of honoring our heroes, every day of our lives must be a KDF day in our hearts. I want to state very clearly that I am indeed proud to be your Commander-in-Chief. Kenyatta say that his government will do everything possible to make sure that there is peace within and beyond the Kenyan borders. If anyone thought that the KDF is too nice to fight, they are welcome to quickly revise their mistaken opinion, if they already haven't. You are not a ragtag militia. He asked the media to be more responsible while disseminating information and not to let the enemy use the powerful tool to instill fear within the country. Among those who were invited to the special ceremony to commemorate this day were retired generals led by former chief of general staff, retired General Muhammad Mohammed. Well, KDF Day is a day that is used to commemorate those gentlemen and women of the forces who have fallen in the line of duty. And also for all these gentlemen and also the women of the forces who are making sure that our borders are manned and secure. Also present were other senior officers from Burundi, Rwanda, Ethiopia and Sudan who came to celebrate the day with the Kenyan Defense Force. So far, KDF has liberated over 19 towns in Somalia and continues to destroy several terrorist camps and training areas. It has restored normalcy to large parts of the Indian Ocean, where pirates and militia groups once roamed unabated. Michael Njenga, Citizen TV, Laikipia Airbase, Nanyuki.